you're a locomotive driver. You are a what? The one, the locomotive one. driver. Yeah. So you're going to drive this train yeah. today? You will drive this train? Yeah. So, Benji. So, Benji, you're going to drive? Yeah. Oh, okay. So well, why did I buy you a beer? <laughs> so, <laughs> be very careful, okay? Yeah, How long have you been a locomotive driver? Day two in Zambia begins. I'm on my way now to the train station, which is in the town of New Kapiri Maposhi, about two and a half hours up the road, if I have my information correct. From there, we're going to catch the Tazara Railway all the way to Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. That trip should take about 50 to 60 hours, and it's about an 1800 kilometer trek uh, through the heart of Africa. I'll put an image up here so you guys can see. This should be an incredible journey. I've heard nothing but good things about the train. Uh, not so much about comfort, but about the experience. It should be an amazing adventure. On my way to the train station, let's go. So this is the uh, Kilimanjaro Express up to Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. I'm just about to board. It was very chaotic getting that ticket. Uh, they'd only take Quacha and I only had US dollars left on me. Uh, but I did find somebody to change my money at a pretty horrible rate, but that said, I got the ticket in hand and ready to board first class. We'll see what that entails. I believe I have an upper bunk, which is not ideal, but that's what you get when you get to the train station 20 minutes before departure. Anyway, let's go to Tanzania. for about $2.50 US uh, for a plate of chicken and uh, rice, uh, 
fish, fried fish and rice also. Uh, beer is about $1.80 US bottle for a huge bottle. And the bedding looks quite comfortable, so I guess we'll wait and see how the next two days roll out. I'm sure I'll feel a little bit kind of feverish by the end of it, but uh, I am definitely enjoying my time here so far. Uh, the bathrooms are relatively clean by the looks of it. Uh, they are squat toilets, so it is my goal to never use one. Passenger lounge and the dining car. Full service restaurant on board, so that's... It's got quite the amenities for being in the middle of nowhere in the middle of Africa. Just hanging out in the passenger lounge now, having a Serengeti. So all the beer on board is actually from Tanzania. Uh, they don't have most of the Zambian lager in stock. $1.80 US, 18 uh, Zambian Pacha uh, for a bottle. So relatively reasonable for what you're getting. And again, the lounge is actually quite vacant. Uh, I thought it would be a lot busier than this. But uh, there's most of the locals are just hanging out in their apartments and resting in there. So uh, I pretty much have the entire passenger lounge area to myself right now, uh, with the exception of a few people having beers and the uh, dining car next door. So a lot of space to move around on this train. Uh, it's definitely the way to travel between Zambia and Tanzania. Thinking about being crammed in the back of a minibus for the next two days, uh, from town to small town to small town, uh, having to figure out which minibus to take, waiting for it to fill up and everything else that comes along with travel here in Africa. Uh, the train is the way to go in terms of comfort, uh, not so much time, but comfort for sure. Given that this ticket was only 35 US dollars for a two-day, 100-kilometer trip across South Central Africa, you could not get more for your money. Now, they don't include meals. You get meals for only $2.50, $3.50 at the rate max. Very reasonable prices on board. Uh, again, a cheap beer, what more can you ask for? So, definitely comfortable. The bed that they gave, the bedding looks relatively clean. The only thing I would change if I had to critique anything would be that I think they do need to include some sort of screen on the windows just to avoid uh, mosquitoes and other critters getting on board. Uh, we are traveling through the middle, the heart of Africa, really edging the Congolese border right now, which is a country that is right with uh, epidemics and infectious disease. So uh, that's one thing to consider if you get on board and you take the Zara Railway. Just make sure that you do dose yourself in heat containing insect repellent. Uh, make sure you take care of yourself and make sure you're on a uh, anti malarial prophylactic. Well, it's definitely been an experience so far. Uh, I tell you, it's exceeded my expectations. I was kind of dreading this trip, thinking I would be cramped in a very, very small compartment. I'm not, didn't, I'm not sure what I expected. I think I had uh, memories of my trip across Zimbabwe. 2014, uh, that is much more basic train, so this is actually a uh, step up. So, cheap pulp beer in the African wilderness outside. It's been a great experience so far, and I couldn't recommend it more. Tanzania has been somewhat inspired by California. They have outlawed plastic bags, and you will be prosecuted if you have any, so I'm not sure what to do with the ones I have. Uh, perhaps stuff them in the bathroom. Do what you do, you gotta do, I suppose. This is probably the world's dirtiest pillow. It is completely saturated with grime, sweat, and dust. Probably never been cleaned, and it stinks. Thank you. 
You're gonna throw rocks at us, I guess. It's not the friendliest village that I've encountered so far in this trip. stops that we've been out here. A lot of oh, some uh, corn on the cob right there. And randomly enough that looks like bok choy almost. Cassava, tomatoes. <laughs> They're just going back and forth from one car to the other. Some bananas coming our way now. That is, they carry their uh, infants there on their back, they wrap them tight, kind of with a sling. Cute, eh? Little baby. Very cute. After 24 hours on the train, we finally reached the Tanzanian border at the town of Nakonde Tunduma. Where are you going? Dar es Salaam. Dar es Salaam. To do what? To travel. To travel, yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. Chaos, eh? They really love money. Are they allowed to uh, go if they don't need a passport? They don't need a passport? Uh, they just don't enforce it. Yeah. You can pass through the border if you want. Yeah. So we've just crossed into Tanzania. I'm $50 poorer at this point. We are running about six hours late, so it looks like it's about 4.35 o'clock in the afternoon right now. We were supposed to cross the border at 9.30 in the morning. It's been quite the adventure. We're probably gonna get into Dar es Salaam about midnight tomorrow by the looks of it. Hopefully it'll be earlier than that. Take a look around this uh, beautiful cabin of ours. We have luggage area. Now, again, cleanliness is kind of in question here, but there are some blankets they provide us with, pillow. The fan doesn't work, unfortunately. That looks like it hasn't been cleaned since the 1930s. And that's my beautiful spacious bed right over here. All right, onward to Mibea. We are 
in the morning uh, tomorrow. So it never ends. But it's a cloudy day outside, so there's not uh, a ton of sunshine. But the views are quite spectacular. We're getting into some rolling hills. In terms of experiences on the train, breakfast is okay. I only ordered eggs today. Uh, eggs was a, was a uh, better choice, I think. Oh, I haven't tried the lunch or the dinner. I think I might go for dinner today, just because we're getting so close. Uh, I've been avoiding using the toilets for the past two days. Uh, so that's been successful so far. I'm trying not to eat or drink a lot. We have about 20 hours before we arrive at Dar es Salaam. So a very slow journey. So evidently the uh, safety equipment on board the Tazar Railway is aspirational at best. Uh, here is the emergency hammer. Uh, nowhere to be found. And suspiciously, there is a broken window right next to it. So this evening when we get closer to Dar es Salaam. Um, so Myung Hu here, he has uh, fried fish. Yeah. Hi. It's maybe a tilapia of some sort. Right. With some uh, local rice and it looks like maybe the green. standard East African uh, spinach kind of, I think it's greens actually, turnip green. And then a small bit of tomato soup that's served alongside to put on top of the rice. So interesting. Got all washed down with a Kilimanjaro. Bon appetit. I don't understand why they don't just try to drive away. Very crazy out there. Some chaos, I think you have to lock the door. So what the holdup was there was a uh, drug search. So they make you line up your bags. Every passenger on the train has to do that. And then uh, they use the drug sniffing dog to see if anybody's bringing any contraband over the border into Tanzania. Here I am though at Dar es Salaam station. I got about a 10 minute cab ride to the Holiday Inn where I'll be staying tonight and then exploring the city from there. So let's go.
finally I've arrived in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. It is about noon right now. I've been enjoying a few hours here at the hotel. I arrived at uh, around seven o'clock this morning after a grueling 64 hour train ride. The train was delayed significantly. So what was supposed to be a two night trip became a three night trip. We arrived at about seven o'clock in the morning and I grabbed an Uber to the hotel, um, which was very straightforward. The ride took about 45 minutes due to traffic. I can say that I'm very thankful to be in this city. A beautiful location here. It is perched right on the edge of the Indian Ocean. I can see the ocean from my hotel window. I'm very excited to cross that channel tomorrow and head to Zanzibar. For today, I'm gonna to be looking around Dar es Salaam. It is a fusion of Arab, uh, Indian, African, and German culture meshed into one. It is an amazing place from the looks of it so far. I wanted to give you a rundown though of my experiences on the Tazara Railway for anybody who's interested or planning on taking that journey. Yeah. <laughs> 